Today we're going to be trying out a store that I have been really curious about for a long time and have kind of avoided because of the price, to be honest. Those prices are a little steep. Uh, we'll get into that, but today we're going to be trying on stuff from Anthropology. I've heard a lot about Anthropology since they extended their sizing back in, I want to say 2019, and they were actually on my list of places to visit to do a fitting room try on shortly before the old panty, as we know. So that didn't happen. And recently some of my favorite plus size influencers that I have been following on Instagram have been recommending so much cute Anthropology stuff, so I was like, okay. Let's test it out. I ordered this stuff shortly before Christmas when they were having a massive sale. So I believe I got 40 or 50% off all of this. I can confidently say that I would not purchase this stuff if it was full price. So I will link everything that's still available down below. Unfortunately, I didn't even get to include everything I ordered in this video because some of them are so back ordered that they're like now out of stock. Like they can't even bring it back in stock. So I had a couple more things to show for this video that never made it. So I wanted to have a little bit more variety in this, but I do have a few tops, a dress, and a two-piece set to show you. So I'm going to be trying it on with you for the very first time. And we're gonna see how this goes. We're gonna see if it lives up to the hype, if it's worth the price, and if I recommend it. So let's jump in. So here's everything we have to try on. I'm gonna start at the very top with tops. I think I got four different tops to try. Keep in mind, I was just going by their size chart and we're just winging it here. I don't really know if these are the right sizes or the right fit, but we're gonna go for it. So this first one here is this gorgeous like canary yellow top, but it's almost got kind of like a smoky tone to it, if that makes sense. And this is called the Sweetheart Sweater. It's in a size extra large, which looks like it'll actually be true to size. I love when brands are actually true to size when it comes to extra larges, because sometimes you shop places and an extra large is more like a medium. So on the price tag here, it says that the original price was $98. $8, and then it was on sale. There's a sale sticker on it for $59.95, but I got it for $35.97 with the sale. So that's the reason I tried it out. No way in hell in any universe would I pay $100 for a sweater. I don't think, but this was $35. So I felt like that was a pretty good price. So let's try it on and see what it looks like. I have no idea how I would style this, but we're gonna figure it out together. <laughs> okay, we're jumping right into this. I'm in love. Putting this on really does feel luxurious. Like it feels high quality, it feels expensive. And typically I avoid yellow having blonde hair. It's Conflicting because it's one of my favorite colors, but sometimes I do feel like it's a bit clashy I do think this looks fine, but I also have a hair change coming up pretty soon Which you will see but more on that at a later date. I still really love this. It's so beautiful The sleeves are so long It's long enough to where I can tuck it in and like it's gonna stay tucked in the actual length of it kind of goes like pretty far down so it's a pretty long sweater and it's really stretchy really comfortable, it's soft, but it's not like fuzzy to where I'm gonna start sweating when I wear it. This is such a cute outfit and it's so simple. I'm not like a full convert yet. Uh, we still have a lot of pieces to go, but I will be very curious to see how this goes because I'm starting to catch a whiff of the hype. I'm starting to get it. We'll see. Next we have this top, which I think might be my favorite. It's just so cute and I love the colors in it. And this is called the puff sleeve top. What's it called actually? It's called the Smocked Puff Sleeve Top. I got it in a size extra large. It again, looks really true to size. I like the lettuce hem on the bottom. I think it's really cute. It also has some like kind of elastic bunching along the sleeve. So we'll see how I feel about that. And I felt like this color scheme specifically would be really cute with some black overalls or black jeans. It does look and feel really, really nice. That is the one thing I will say so far is the quality is really kind of blowing my mind. So I get it, but it's also so expensive. Oh, also this is originally $80. There is a stale sticker on it for $49.95, but I believe I got it for $25? $29.97 is what I got it for. So from $80 to $30, that's pretty great. Although this is a little bit different than I thought, I don't know if I like need to wear the sleeves differently or something. It's a little different than I thought, but I still actually like it. The fit of this is really great. It's very stretchy. Again, super high quality. It's very soft. 
soft. It's long enough to where I can tuck it in, but just barely. And if I don't feel short enough to be cropped. So it's kind of a weird length, but I feel like I can work with it. I really love this like 70s color palette that we have going on here. We have like some mustard, some burnt oranges, some maroons. It's really pretty. I do think this is gonna be one of my favorites, but I have something towards the end that I'm even more looking forward to. So we'll see, but I overall, I'm gonna keep this and I really do like it. Next, we have this raspberry colored blouse, which I just thought the color was so stunning. And this is just really unlike anything I have in my closet. And this is called the romantic puff sleeved blouse. And it's an extra large as well. This honestly looks like it might be a little bit big. Like if this were from another retailer, I would say this would be like a double XL. So we'll see how it's gonna fit. I'm just trying to branch out a little bit with my tops. I feel like I've been saying that for years, but I mean, for a solid year, to two years of my life, I just wore band tees. And now I'm just trying to branch out a little bit more and find different tops. This was originally $120, ma'am? Excuse me? <laughs> There's a sale sticker on it that reduced it to $69.95 and I got it for $41.97. So this material is interesting. Like it's kind of see-through or like sheer in some parts. It's not the softest thing in the entire world, but I might fall in love with the fit. So you don't know until you try it on. Let's do it. Okay, for this one, I am a little bit confused because the material itself has no give whatsoever, but like the sleeves and the bodice and I guess the back do have a little bit of stretch. So it's interesting. It's not not like the softest thing I've ever worn. In fact, it is like the tiniest bit scratchy, but I am sensitive. And it's cute. Like I actually really do like the way it looks. I love the color. I think the pattern of it is really pretty. I love the button detailing down the front, but there's something about it that I'm just like, hmm. Do I love this? I'm super glad I got it at such a discount because if it were full price, I think I would be mad right now. But the thing that's interesting about tops like this, I run into this a lot. And I think this is because I'm a size extra large or a size 16 or whatever, but I don't have like a super large chest. So a lot of times when I wear shirts like this, my chest doesn't fully fill it out. So I'm left with just a super loose bust area. It fits me everywhere else, but I just need it to be tighter right here you know, but also you need to have room in the garment for people who have bigger chests. So I don't know. I really, really loved big puffy sleeve tops like this a year and two years ago, but I don't know if I'm like as in love with them now. Definite points for the color and the fit of it is really pretty. It's long enough to tuck it in. So I'm kind of on the fence about this one. I feel like this was a maybe. I feel like we were starting off really strong and now we're kind of plateauing. So I don't know. Let's see how we go moving forward. Next one, this is going to be kind of quick because it's really just a very, very simple item, but I got this puff sleeve, slightly cropped ivory colored cardigan. It's also in a size extra large. It's also originally $120. <laughs> That pains me. The sale sticker said $69.95. I got it again for $41.97. It's very, very simple, but I don't have any kind of sweater like this that I can just wear as a top. So this is kind of like a basic. And I thought since anthropology is usually so expensive and I somehow managed to tap in when there was like a really nice deal going on, I would try it out. So let's see. Okay, full transparency. I hate this. <laughs> I really do. It was bound to happen at some point, I suppose. It's just not my style. I'm not loving the puff sleeve. To me, it's giving less of like a cottage core puff sleeve vibe and more of like a, I'm wearing football pads. It's just not, it's not for me. I think this one is gonna have to go back or maybe I'll end up selling it on Poshmark or something. I was hoping to find a cute new basic staple, but this one's a no, it's a hard no. It's also a really thick material and I don't live somewhere where it's cold enough to wear something like this all the time. So this one's a hard no for me. I don't love it at all. I'm starting to feel itchy now a little bit and it has to come off. Whoever priced this at $120, I'm calling 911 because you deserve jail. Next for a dress that is like probably my dream come true and honestly Drew's worst nightmare is this velvet dress. <laughs> if any of you sensory people out there have issues with velvet, leave it in the comments below. My boyfriend will literally gag if he touches it, but I love it. This is called the Velvet Empire Waist Midi Dress and this color, this like crushed rose velvet is just really doing something for me. It's originally $180. 
I'm, I'm sick. I didn't really read the before prices when I got them. Long story short, I got it for $59.97. That is just so expensive. Like I, I really wanna keep investigating and see if this is worth it because that is insane. But like these pieces are so gorgeous. It's got like a little ribbon that ties it in the back here. I immediately saw this photo with the model wearing cowboy boots and I was like, noted done consider it done i'm really really excited about this this just feels so beautiful and so fancy like a very special occasion dress so let's see what it looks like okay so with this dress i actually i don't know i wasn't actually expecting to be so hit and miss about some of these but i don't really know how i feel about this overall the dress is stunning absolutely stunning i personally don't know how crazy i am about the neckline on me like i wish it was a little bit like lower and more square. And I wish the sleeves were a tiny bit more puffed. Like it kind of just looks like a short sleeve dress. There's really no puff involved. At least for me anyway, I'm trying to be as critical as possible in case you're considering purchasing this, but it is really cute. It's very comfortable. The top part here is really stretchy. I would probably go down to a size 14 if I could. It just feels, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be loose and flowy, but it feels like I could go down a size in this, but I do love it with the cowboy boots. Absolutely absolutely stunning as we predicted. And I do kind of wish that this first tier here like started maybe here. Like I wish there wasn't such a long portion right here, if that makes sense. If this was full price, would I purchase it? No, absolutely not. But now that it's so severely discounted and I have it, am I gonna keep it? We'll see. I really am trying to be more selective about what comes into my closet this year. So TBD on that, I might end up returning it, but it is cute. I'm just not like in love with it. And then last but not least, we have a really fun, funky, bold piece that I was super inspired by my friend Rosie Blair to buy. I talk about her all the time. She mentioned this on an Instagram post and I was like, yeah, I need that in my life. So I bought it. And it is this insanely gorgeous two piece set. It has a matching blazer and shorts. Could you die? This is called the Maeve checkered short set. The original price, like y'all, the original price is $198 and I got this set for $59. That's why I had to get it. These are in a size 16, and I'm really curious to see how a size 16 is gonna fit because a lot of times when plus sizes are offered, I've talked about this in videos before, if it's like a, a specifically plus size line, I can sometimes tend to be like a 14, but when it's a straight size line, I'm typically a 16. So I don't know, I went with a 16, we'll see how it goes. It has these high-waisted, amazing shorts, and then the matching blazer to go with it, and I mean, so many cute combinations you could do with this. You could do like a black halter underneath, a black bandeau. You could do nothing if you wanted to. That would be pretty sexy. I'm so curious to see what this looks like because I've seen quite a few other people I follow on Instagram have this set and try it on and they all looked so bomb. It's insane. So I'm really wanting to join the club, honestly. Um, I was influenced by influencers. And that's really why I made this video. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, I fully recognize that this might not be for everyone, but it's for me. Literally, how gorgeous is this? I cannot deal with it. I decided to just wear it as is. I tried it with a couple different tops underneath, but I kind of just prefer it like this. If I were to wear the shorts by themselves, then I definitely would wear some sort of like black halter top. I really liked the way it looked with mine, but just when it's the two of them together, they kind of speak for themselves. The sleeves are a bit long on the blazer, which is actually very rare for me. I do sort of feel like if I could choose, like if I could make a custom set, I would keep the size 16 shorts, which do fit great, by the way. I have a little bit of room in them. In fact, they might even be the slightest bit big, but I like that. I like the way they fit. They're comfortable because there really isn't much stretch to this material at all. So I'm cool with that, but I wish I could size down in the blazer. I wish I could size down to a 14 and like mix and match, but either way, it's still a really cute set. I'm definitely gonna rock it. I'm actually just wearing like a brown bra underneath this because that was like the bra I was wearing today, but just wearing like a black bra would totally suffice. Maybe something lacy because it doesn't really show that much. It kind of just looks like this. So I actually love this. I'm so happy we ended this on a good note. Do I think that all of these items are worth the price? No, absolutely not. Some of the quality of these items is better than like anything in my closet. And then some of them, it's like literally on par with H&M. So it's kind of like, eh. I really thought this was gonna be like the Eloquy haul that I did last month where every single item was a banger. I loved every single thing, 
but I don't think I feel that way about this. Would I recommend some of these pieces? Yes. Would I recommend all of these pieces? For me, not necessarily, but if you find one that you feel like fits your style, I'd say go for it, especially if there's a sale. I think it's amazing to have a kind of more high-end mainstream retailer that carries plus sizes, so I don't wanna like discredit them for that because I think it's amazing and I think that plus size people should have access to really luxurious, beautiful clothing. Is it all 100% for me? No, of course not. It wasn't made for me, but I think it's worth checking out. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure Sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Let me know if there are any other retailers you want to see me test out in the comments below. I would love to try out some black owned businesses, women owned businesses, Asian owned businesses, LGBT owned businesses. Let me know. I'm sending you all of my love. Thank you so much for stopping by on your journey on the internet today. It means so much to me and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye!